What is up, my dudes? This is Yardbra, and you're tuning in to another episode of my lawn. Alrighty. Today, we are going to show you how I clean my Ego LM2100 electric mower. Oh, yeah. It's a dirty. It's a dirty girl. <laughs> so, I've owned this lawnmower for three seasons now coming up on three years and I've washed it like this every single time. I mean, when we were helping the old lady at her house, the mower was trashed and went home, spread it just like this, okay? Never any problems, okay? So use at your, do, do, watch this at your discretion, okay? This is how I do the washing of the Ego Mower. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple things to get started. I'm gonna have some dish soap, a car wash brush, a car rim brush, a crusty, dusty wash mitt, a flathead screwdriver, my trusty black bucket, and my hose and my nozzle. All right, let's dive in. Step one, flathead screwdriver, okay? I use this to get all the clumps of grass out. It. Uh, it's been a whole month and I haven't cleaned this thing, okay? I'm just scraping it. There's a lot coming out, you see that. I mean, you saw the last video, I was a little embarrassed, so this this is overdue, long overdue. You should be cleaning it every time you, you mow, but you know, you get lazy, right? So get all that stuff off. And then I use the car wash brush to get more of the grass off. My second step is to fill my black bucket with some dish soap. So, you know, a lot of people are using dish soap in their lawn to aerate. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe we should test that out as well. But I figure if it's safe enough to put in your lawn, it's safe enough to put on your lawn mower, which is mowing the lawn. Okay, so let's... Uh, fill this bucket up, okay? Step three, I spray down the deck. Now I am very careful where I spray. I'm not going all willy-nilly, all nimbly bimbly from tree to tree, spraying all over the place. I'm, you know, it's a controlled spray. <laughs> and uh, I, <laughs> I'm not spraying, like I'm trying to avoid spraying in the middle as well, because you know, after looking at the manual, I think that's connected to the electronics of the system. So just very careful. I'm just, just spraying to get the grass off. All right. Alrighty. Now, step four, rim brush to loosen up the grass. Okay. This is um, an awesome tool. I use this for all my rims. You know, when I get my used cars and, you know, flip them, I'd be using this brush on every single uh, rim job and it's just uh it works it works really good it works awesome okay step five wash mitt to finish the cleanup <laughs> god this is the worst video okay use your wash mitt you're gonna get all that stuff you might have to bring back the screwdriver you know to uh get some of the stuff that's still stuck on there but use the wash mitt <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. I hate myself. Okay, wash mitt. Self-explanatory. Use the wash mitt. You know, this is just a funny video because it's like the easiest video to how to wash your electric mower. But it's funny to me. It's 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 gonna be a good one. You, you, you good yard, bro? You're nasty. You're nasty. You're nasty. <laughs> oh man. All right. Usually. There is no striper kit on the Ego lawnmowers, but this one I have added the new checker stri or checkmate, my bad, striper kit on the back, so you can't set it up right. So I'm gonna lay it down on the side, okay? And then we're gonna clean it up and then we're gonna flip it over so we can get the other side, just to make sure that you have everything uh, clean and good to go. You just make it, you know, just do a really nice, thorough job. All 
Alrighty, step six. I'm going to spray down the entire mower very carefully, avoiding all possible electronic goodies. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scrub the entire mower with my crusty wash mitt. And then, while the suds are doing their job, we're gonna open up the rear grass catcher hatch, and then we're gonna do the same process as the deck. We're gonna use the rim brush, we're gonna use the mitt, we're gonna clear it out, and then we're gonna go ahead and hose everything off, all right? Make sure you're not spraying directly into the battery house. If it gets a little bit wet around it, it's cool, okay? But if you're just dousing everything, yeah, you're probably gonna mess up the mower. But like I said, it's gonna be super, super careful as we do this. Awesome. Step seven, we are going to wipe down the entire mower with a towel so you can get most of the water off the rig. Get in all the little crevices, get as much as you can. And then step eight, you're gonna grab your grass bag and wash inside and out with soap and water. A lot of people are just like, oh, just blow it off, blah, 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 blah. No, I mean, I, I, I scrub this thing. Well, it isn't going to smell. No, it's not because you're going to dry it, right? So you're going to rinse it out. And then what I do is I put it on top of, I put it around the black bucket so that it can stand upright and then drain the water. All right. Then I also, this is nice because we have an ego blower. I blow it off a little bit, a little blow action, just boop, boop, boop. All up on the all up on the grass catcher. And then and then the final final step is to use the blower on the lawnmower. Yes, this is fun. This is like what I do with, with, with my car. When I wash my car, I use the ego blower and I get all the water droplets off. Same thing with this. It's just gonna be a lot better and a lot faster drying instead of it just, you know, manually going and drying itself use that blower get in there get in the crevices make it happen all right now i did pop open the battery house it's dry i mean it's crusty still kind of so i'm gonna wipe it down a little bit but it's dry in there so we did a good job this was this was a good this was a good careful nice wash job so good job this is probably the most important part and i'm just being very cautious I don't put the battery back in for another 24 hours. I just let it dry. I let it do its thing. Like I said, let it, let nature take its course and the water just comes off the, the lawnmower. But don't put the battery in. You don't want to do that because some, some things might be wet. You know what I mean? So 24 hours, we're going to make sure it gets fully dry. Look at that. Mowers clean, you know, this, uh, I'll, be, I'll be straight up with you. This, this video was a buy me some time video so the grass can grow a little bit higher so we can cut it at a level three and then a level two. <laughs> Cause it was a little short still. So I wanted it to grow out just a little bit and this is buying me some time. So we're gonna, we washed it, it looks amazing. We're gonna sharpen the blades tomorrow. It's gonna be sharp. And then we're gonna get out there and mow and lay some stripe down with our new checkmate striper kit. It's all it's all falling into place, guys. It's all falling into place. Springtime is here. Everyone is coming out. The oh, my neighbor came over. We're, we're chit-chatting. He was like, I need to aerate my lawn. Boom! Here you go. Dude, you're already killing it. Here, here's the, the, the tool that we used. He was in the video too. So he's gonna aerate his stuff. I mean, everyone's starting to get their stuff together. It's exciting, I'm getting antsy. But yeah, my guys, this was my version of washing your lawnmower. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. We'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.